Don't let go of my hand. Um, um, for the sake of the movie, Awu is focused on the script right now. I'll take over today's vlog. This is too hard on her. I'll do it. You come back here. Don't be an obnoxious attention seeker like you were at the radio station. Uh, I'm sorry for being an attention seeker. I shouldn't be stealing the spotlight. Well, that's all for today. Hope everything goes well with Owl Script. See you guys next time. go comfort her together it's so quiet without her I'm not used to it we should but not you love you're not suited for this is it because of the pressure writer's block is really hard to overcome how can we help her I know you're there, the plot, I haven't figured it out yet. If I go on camera like this, I'd let everyone down. one in this city who knows how to perform a lion dance. This lion head is also totally unique. These are all special treasures from Goldianville. Have you heard of Goldianville? Have you heard of Goldianville? <laughs> very few people know about it, but I learned of it when I was very little. Goldianville is a tiny city-state far, far away from this city. The people there are completely different from the people here. They speak a different language, write a different script, wear different clothing, eat different food. Oh, and when they eat, they use two little bamboo sticks to pick up the food. It's really impressive. Even I had to practice a long time to get the hang of it. They are completely different from the people of this city. They're all so unique, just like Owl. Oh, but Owl is the best at lion dancing. Goldianville is very far away. I haven't been there yet. I grew up here. This city is my home. But I've heard of another term called homeland. 
I think Goldianville is my homeland. I found out myself. Do you remember? I was born a much-loved child and raised by the whole Drifter camp. All my neighbors, from the first floor to the hundredth, loved and doted on me. A few of them looked like me. We had the same hair, eyes, and skin color. They came only once in a blue moon. They were very busy and low-key people who came and went cautiously and quietly. But each time, they'd make sure to come and see me and give me lots of fun and yummy things. I got my precious lion head from them. <laughs> the people in the drifter camp told me they were merchants from Goldianville who trekked a long way here for the city's precious stones. They had to brave huge sandstorms and desert bandits along the way. They never stayed for long, but always came to see me when they had time. They would smile at me and beat up my bullies. I found that each time they were about to leave, they would hide and secretly shed tears. I found that they were different from the other neighbors who loved me. Though I'm the most adorable cutie pie in the world, these merchants loved me more than anyone else. So, gradually, I started praying for them to come. I really liked them and wanted them to tell me stories about Goldianville. They refused to tell me and forbade me from learning the way they talk. They insisted that I use the language of this city. They only gave me this lion head because I threw a tantrum. Hmm. They didn't teach me how to use it, I taught myself. They stopped coming for a long, long time. Some said the catastrophe became stronger, and now there's something called the Tide of Ashes. Merchant fleets from small places can't make it here anymore. Clapper get to comfort me. I'm super strong and confident. My lion dance became so awesome and unique precisely because the Goldianville folks didn't come often. Add in Stella's dazzling fantasy and we'll win for sure. As soon as we figure out the plot line, the Diskers are ours. As long as we figure out how to send Stella home, as long as we figure out... <sighs> It's weird no matter how I think about it. It just feels off that Stella's family would suddenly come back like that. <sighs> so fake. Even I want to laugh at it. <sighs> See? This is the problem. I just wanted to help, so I searched up movie and dazzling fantasy online. I found an interview with a famous director. I really agree with the points she gave. Maybe it can also inspire you.
She's the famous Dillywood director who nabbed all the discers one year. She's quite the legend. So I think to win a disker or to solve Owl's problem, we can use her opinion as a reference. Hmm. But I still have a question. What does a director do again? out now stems from not understanding directing and lacking expertise and experience uh, I, I didn't mean it that way it's difficult but with hard work you should be able to do it oh i get it now thanks lynn I finally found the missing piece of the puzzle that stands between my best cool car and the Diskers! We need a director! Let's go to Dillywood to find Darren! We need her to join our crew! Lights. Camera, action! The Lion Dancing Queen is back! You didn't see me last night, so now you get an early update! Yep, yep, I know, I know, y'all really miss me! I miss you guys too! I've come back to the camera, and today, the crew is taking a big step forward! We're warming up for the big battle for the Diskers! That's right! Thanks to our little clapper, we've crossed the rust and entered Eastside to prepare for the award ceremony in advance! Of course, that dummy asked for a day off and didn't come along. This is the place where dreams are made! Dillywood's Walk of Fame! Ta-da! Dead Lover Radio has been popular for quite a while. This is the first time I actually set foot in Eastside. Crossing the rest was no small feat. This place is really beyond my imagination. It's the fragrance of flowers and makeup. It's the fragrance of dreams and joy! Ugh, it's the stink of money and camera flashes. It still gives me nausea after all this time. Are you unwell, little Daisy? I remember that you were in the East Side entertainment industry for a while. I was hoping you could tell me about it. Oh, stop talking about it. I'm gonna puke. Wanna say something, Lynn? I remember the photographer you like also works in Dillywood. No, no, I'm fine. What? Lynn's been to Dillywood before? Then... No, I haven't. It's because Dillywood is the heart of the film industry. It has a lot of talented people and opportunities. So we also came here. My best cool car studios is looking for a director. 
If you have any friends to recommend, please leave their contact info in the comments. That's right! You can recommend yourself too! As long as you're a director... A director! The Diskers are waving to you! You dare look down on the line dancing queen? You think I'd let my emotions get the better of me? I definitely won't reveal my moves here. My first public performance will be on stage at the Discord, so everyone can be awed by the wonders of lion dancing. No, 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 no. You misunderstood. We're full of admiration for the FAC's contributions. Your presence here is an honor for Dillywood. There's nothing you should worry about. Have the Apostles' clones appeared in Dillywood too? Hmm, no reports on that, but it's very likely. After all, Dillywood is a dream factory with a ton of spiritual energy. They'd easily get lured to a place like that. No! These are just some, uh, uh, pranks! Yes, pranks! It's not mania! No need to bother the fine staff of the FAC. The film festival is about to begin. It's the most important event of the year! It must not get disrupted by mania! Mania is a disruption in itself. <sighs> We've invited so many celebrities, judges, guests, and media. All the contracts for sponsorship, ads, and publicity have already been signed, and they're worth a fortune. Do you know how much we'd have to pay if we breached them? The problems are not that bad, really. There's not that much damage. Please, just wait out these few days. You can do whatever you want in a week, okay? I can give you whatever you want. Investments, celebrity appearances. Oh, and I heard that your friend is looking for director Darren. I can help you. No, no. I just care about young people with filmmaking dreams. Don't worry, they went back already. Here are the contact details for Darren Film Studios. The director is very busy, so I couldn't get in touch with her personally, but her team is quite good. Her assistant has already accepted the invitation for this year's Discurse and said that Darren has agreed to be a judge for this year's awards. So as long as the ceremony can be held as usual, you'll be sure to see her.
<laughs> I know you want to make a movie. I can find all sorts of resources for you. Money's not a problem, nor are ticket sales. Anyone can enter the industry. You can make a movie in 10 days and still win a disker. You're slacking off. You're losing points with me, little clapper. For. I've already brought the best director here. Welcome to today's special vlog update. Little Clapper is back, so everyone is here. It's time to introduce our newest member, the famous Dillywood director, D. <laughs> Good evening. joined on her own. We hit it off right away on the street. She also gave a lot of shopping tips, so the others went off shopping and had a lot of fun. Dee is the most perfect fit for our crew. Many questions. Is this an interview? Oh, sorry, I forgot the first few questions already. Can I just answer the last one? About my works. Uh, to tell the truth, I've been in Dillywood for many years. But I haven't produced anything worth showing. <laughs> but it's fine. There's a saying, don't dwell on past glory. The true masterpiece is always the next one. That be the new movie I'm making with Aowu? Right? From the moment we met, there was dazzling fantasy all over. That's right! It's because you're a great director! You still have questions? Can you ask me tomorrow? Aowu said the little clapper would bring us some food. If you can do that, I'd be very thankful. Um, I'm really hungry and sleepy. I haven't slept indoors for several days. Can you please help me out? Cool car, didn't you say that I'd get room and board too? 
Of course we should treat all crew members equally. <laughs> Better get some rest before work starts. 